Well, today is a new day out in Sheridan Lake, and we've been out here for a couple of days. We've had really good fishing, we've had a great show, but you know, we saw them in the shallow water. And what do we normally go to in the shallow water? Boobies. Yeah, boobies. Your favorite. <laughs> so, but this lake's finicky, as we know, Bri. Yeah, they, they can turn on for 15 minutes and then shut down for four hours. We just gotta find some happy fish, along with some jumping fish, and try a whole bunch of different patterns. Excellent. Well, I know the Bulldog's gonna be happy. That's oh. your gig, you love that. <laughs> and you know, we, we went to the bench last night. We got some <laughs> radical, <laughs> radical new patterns. Very radical, purple, blues, it's all good. Yeah. So today, it's boobies at Sheridan Lake as we take you sport fishing on the fly. Right, we saw some happy fish in here. Yeah, we've seen a few jump and they're scattered in here right now. Yeah. No, no big concentration yet, but. And that's what we're looking for. When you're fishing for the boobies, you want to look in the shallows, make sure you see happy fish jumping, you know, splashing around, but you want numbers. If you don't, you know, if you got one or two here and there, keep looking, because you, uh, you need some numbers. Yeah, well, they might be in here. We better take it cool here. Yeah, take it, might be in here. <clears throat> we've seen two now. Got to see a few more, but I think they might start coming in here. You know, it's beautiful and shallow in here. It's only six feet of water, crystal clear, moral bottom, a few little weeds here and there, perfect for booby fishing. You know, full sink lines on the bottom, strip it through, the booby doesn't get hung up on the weeds. It's just perfect for it. No dust trails? No dust trails. So that's another thing we're looking for, is a lot of times we'll see the fish or the fish are just sitting calm and then they bolt away and you see the big moral poof, what we call the dust trail. So we're just looking for dust trails or any kind of fish we can see. So not much here, eh Brian? They're not here yet. No, they're not. Okay, we so next go. spot? Well, we're going to go back out where they're jumping out a little deeper and wait. we just keep watching this area. Yeah. They'll start moving. Yeah, exactly. We're just waiting for them to move in the shallows before we'll actually really start focusing on the boobies, but there's a lot of fish moving out a little deeper. So, you know, we fire on the indicators and have a little fun early yep. until they move in. You know, yep. you just got to wait it out. But they will come in the shallows. They will come into that four to six feet of water. And then we can start getting them on the booby. Start trying a few different patterns. Oh, look at them. Oh, man, look at them going over there. Yeah, they're going steady. I say we go that we're way. Gonna yeah, we're going to try and get try over there. We'll try the booby over there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a little deeper. It doesn't work as good in the deep water, no, but it's, it's all right. It's only going to be 70 Oh, there's, an, there's a one right there. There we go. Oh, I can't believe my bobber was right under. <laughs> How can you not hook them when the bobber is like that hard? Unless they're biting the swivel. Oh, man. Oh, you think so? I don't know. Maybe they are. You know, we've had to start in a little deeper water. We're waiting for the fish to, to move up into the shallows just because they're just not here. They're all out here jumping around. So we have to work about, what are we, in 18 feet? We're in 18 feet of water, but yeah. we're marking them on the sound or 16 feet down. They're jumping all around us and we're getting pecks. Yeah, but they're not grabbing it. And no. it's early. I mean, we just got out here. It's still pretty cold. And we're just waiting for them to move in again. And you know, once they move in, then we can really start working the tequila, but our, or our different kind of boobies. Right now, we got, uh, I've got purple on. You've got, oh, oh you got them finally. Oh, yeah, it's about time. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 But that's what they've been doing. Oh, they've <laughs> they just been pecking at it, oh. but finally Brian got it because we were paying attention. That one hurt. I set the hook. Oh, did you? Because <laughs> no I just had one. Pecking. So they're not hitting the swivel then. They're, no, they're, they're taking not. the fly. They're just, oh. they have yet to get aggressive. Oh, Nice fish. Though. Nice. Good start. So we'll be patient. You know, of course, Brian and I love the indicator, right? We like going out here. And so it's not a bad thing to start this no. way and then go, go and get the tequilas going or the different kind of boobies we have later. But we've, nice. had, we've had seven or eight bites since we anchored here. Oh, we've had a but ton. Just, just tips. Yeah. But I mean, the bobber's still going down pretty hard, the indicator. Oh, fly oh, out. Flies out. Of course, the old faithful brown. The old faithful brown. Yeah. 
the magic brown, you know, we tied that on the bench for you in another showing. Great pattern, but uh, this is kind of cool. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on, Brian, you're killing me. <laughs> I had the shower this morning. Okay, well, that's a nice fish. Oh, yeah. Look at that, eh? That's beautiful. Yeah, real nice. I mean, just, you know, They're solid, solid, solid 17, 18 yeah. inches. Chunky, too. Chunky. There he goes. Look at that. Oh, God. Yeah, let's get another one. Okay, that's a good start. You know what? It's a good start. We've uh, <laughs> we've got high expectations because we have seen the fish in the shallows, but we've had to start out deep because that's where they are. The happy fish are all deep. Nothing's in shallow right now. So the big key here, patience. <laughs> got it right? You got it. Got to sit and wait. Got to wait out. Five minutes, everything to change. Exactly. Yeah. Well, we'll fire our bobbers out again and have a little fun. Oh, we gotta go brown, eh? They're on them. They're on them. They're on the brown. Nice. Okay, we know what we're gonna use now. Throw on the brown bry. Yep. Looks like good fish. Feels good. Oh, I, oh I like yeah. the other one. A little bigger. Oh, it's a little bigger. All quality fish. They're all good. All quality fish. You know, you can't oh, say yeah. enough about little magic brown. Yeah. It's killer. <laughs> and especially in here. It was on. He wanted it. He <laughs> pulled it down this time. <laughs> no, there was, there was no nibbling. Nice. Well, that's two quick ones. That's great. It never hurts to start deep. No. You know, we yeah. It's always <laughs> a little bit of fun as long as you're catching fish. Oh, bobber. Key here is go where the fish are. Yeah. You know, if, you, if you're if you sitting there all day waiting for the shallows, you could have a half an hour of fun and that's about it. But if you're willing to go deep and then move around, whoa, that is a good fish. You're going to catch a lot. So again, find out where the fish are happy and go there. It's starting to warm up now too. Gonna have to start. Uh... Well, let's not get carried away. Well, I'm gonna get shorts on pretty soon. It's pretty nice. Oh, that's a good fish, bro. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's got some meat to them. That's the beauty of Sheridan Lake, though. You know, if we can, it's it's a very finicky lake, and if you could ever come up here and catch it at the right time, you know, fish to 18 pounds. You know, the average is probably four to five. It's just beautiful. Yeah, you just gotta be. You gotta have some time. You can't just yeah, come you just up, come for, up a for a day or two. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, right in the corner too. Oh yeah. That's a chunk. That is. Oh, that's, that's nice a fish. beauty, bro. That's a beauty. Oh, gotta love it. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful fish, bro. Yep, that really is. Yep. Nice and chunky. And, oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> Gorgeous fish. Yeah. You know, how long is that guy? No, it's about 22. Yeah, 22 is pretty thick. Yep. There Excellent. He goes. Yeah. One brown. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, I think I'd have to change over. Or, uh, you know what? I think I'm sticking out with purple. I, <laughs> I don't, I, you know, I got to get one on purple. I just have to. Well, you're getting the bites. I'm getting the bites and I just got to be patient. I am, yeah, you got brown covered. <laughs> you keep catching them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to experiment. I'm always into experiment. <laughs> Oh, what a job. Nice job there, Doug. How's about that, eh, Brian? <laughs> That's how you handle a fly rod. Well, now i got to change for my purple. I've had more nibbles, <laughs> but they won't eat it. Even my bobber going down, but they like brown. Magic brown is it. Yeah. We'll bring it in and change over to magic brown. I can't let you have all the fun. <laughs> there he is. There. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. You get wet. Nice guy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got wet last time. Yeah, you're going to get wet again, too. <laughs> yeah, got a little more of that. A uh, couple more of the little things on them. Yeah, a little more parasites. Okay, so but still, oh yeah. Beautiful yeah. fish. Beautiful. Nice. Nice. There you are. Three in a row on brown. <laughs> Very nice. Changing over to magic brown. And now, is that the... Uh, is that the experimental one or is that our magic no, brown? Or is I that the I tried the experimental one and it, they might bite it now, but they weren't no, when they first I think started. We just go with proven magic brown, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> that guy too was just nibbling three times. So I, I saw my indicator go, then I pulled and missed him. And then I sat. Indicator went again a little bit more. I pulled again, missed him again. Finally, let it sit and he ate it. And this is a nice fish. Right. Nice and chunky. Kind of our standard. Yeah, this is a chunky guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look at Look that. that. Look at it right on the top lip. Yep. Let's just get the fly. There's the fly. Fly is open. Little brown. We showed everybody. But that's a decent fish, Brian. Oh, yeah. Nice oh, chunk. Oh, yeah. they're all just gorgeous. Yeah. They're Boy, deep. They they're are deep, deep and wide. Holy cow. Look at this guy. <laughs> I can't even grab him. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful that fish. That is just a beautiful fish. Yep. So that's, again, not long, but very yep. chunky. Yeah. He's weighing some pounds. But look at that. Look oh, at that. Just gorgeous little. There he goes. Oh. <laughs> Brown is a killer. Oh, yeah. It's a killer. So we're just going to have to, again, it's uh, probably, what, about 10.30, 11 o'clock? 10.30. 10.30. We had, we've seen in the past couple of days, they do move into the shallows around that noon, one noon, one o'clock yeah. mark. But I think what you have to have is the arsenal, right? You have to have the uh, the tools in the fly box. Yeah. Yep. You got to be prepared for all indicator fishing, deep water, indicator fishing, shallow water, and boobies in shallow water with uh, with our sinking lines. Yeah, and we're talking, you know, you're, we're talking guys fish to 70 feet straight <sighs> down with yeah. Geronim. It's not yeah. our gig, but they not do the it. Fall. <laughs> not in the fall. 20 feet, 15, 18 feet right now. Yeah. Probably slide it into six, eight feet later. Yep. Same technique, and then. You know, the boobies in the shallow water. And we got, the whole thing is seeing fish move. Even though these fish are just jumping, it tells us he's they're here. They're here, right? <laughs> yeah. and that's why we got to move. Excellent. Well, you know what? I'm getting out there again. We'll hang out here until we start seeing them in the shallows. Yep. Not a bad thing. Oh. <laughs> that was so Look. funny. <laughs> we had about four or five just taking our indicators down, but not grabbing Or it. moving them sideways. They're not even pulling them down. They're and just that was funny. So I'm casting out. Brian has one out there. He goes, my indicator just went down, but he didn't touch it. He didn't panic, right? He went, and then finally, <laughs> and then he got him. So he bit it like three times. Yeah, that's crazy. This is crazy, yeah. Well, maybe it's because it's so calm. But another, another beauty, just quality fish. And now we're at 20 feet. So we're, we're supposed to be going the other yeah, way yeah, for the uh, boobies, but we're going out because the fish have moved out. There's people in shallower, yeah. so we're just keeping an eye out there. And this could be the theme of the day. <laughs> we could be going deeper instead of going in. Beautiful fish. Oh, there he is. Got him. Nice. In the top lip. Flies out. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, nice. Nice fish. Yes, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let him go. Very cool. Oh, oh. Let him go. Oh, sorry. Okay, there he goes. Oh, there he's he goes. gone. Nice. Back yeah. to the bottom. You pulled him. Well, eventually, maybe we'll, uh, eventually we may get in shallow. It's getting to that time, but we still haven't gone there. I didn't miss that guy, Bri. No, I was pretty amazed you're, you did not pull back. No, I saw the indicator go under and I missed so many by pulling, I just slip set. So we did this way back on uh, a lake over in Alberta. We had the same issue, me and Grant. It was, they kept pulling the bobber under, but we weren't gonna, so we just, no. nope, if it goes under, just slip set, and the guy, I got him. <laughs> so past experience, sometimes it pays off. And it's getting warm, it's lunchtime now, and it's, uh, it's heating up. All those guys, look, we call this little, but you know, it's a solid, a little fish. And I'll just, I'll just unbutton them and I'll let them go. Yeah, bark chrome, yeah, beautiful. Look at that, right on the top lip, too. He's just, just lips at him and stop wiggling. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, stop. There you go. Little guy, I'll just let him go. Little bar chrome. There he goes. So what I mean by a slip set is when the line's out, I keep it straight on, and all I'm doing is I saw the indicator going on, so instead of lifting my rod tip like we normally do, just slip it. Yeah. Just slowly pull back, and then you feel it tighten, then you can set. But if it's not there, you can just let it go again. I saw your decoder. I know, you're no, like, no, no, hey, I'm going like this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going. What, <laughs> just, what are you doing? <laughs> and it works. So again, you got to modify the technique, and I find that 
effective for a really long, you know, we're 20 foot liters. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, they got a lot of slack in there. a whole lot of slack in there. A lot of give. So it slips out, works good. See if we can get a little bigger one this time though. <laughs> we're up anchored. We're up. <laughs> we're drifting Rolling. in. Well, we're starting to see a move now on a different line. Yeah. So thinking about 12 feet maybe back in there. It's really consistent where they're moving too. Yeah. So and it's more sporadic out here. How about in further? Have you seen any close to shore yet? No. Nope. Nothing yet, eh? No. Hmm. Well, we'll just keep, at least we're going the right direction now. No, we're going shallower. We're going, oh, oh, look at that. Yeah, I see what you mean. So that's probably in that 12 foot range, eh? 12 foot area? Yeah. Uh -oh. That's a beautiful fish. That is a beautiful fish. The only problem is, there's the old problem with the long leader. Oh, and my, my, my bobber hasn't popped. And Brian got it for me. There it is. Pop. Nice. That's the only problem with long leaders. Those, those uh, indicators are nice to have though, the slip indicators, because they do pop off nice. Another nice one, eh, Brian? Oh yeah. Okay. They're just all good fish. Hey, I'm getting out of Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just going. He's going. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, we could have a cluster here. Nope. No, he didn't. Nice. Excellent. Look at that. Just fish steady that size today. Oh, excellent. Isn't that? My man, oh, man. Crazy. Crazy. The slip set's working good, bro. Lemon yellow. Look at that. Pectoral fins. Nice lemon oh, yellow. This one's just the gorgeous. There's a the little. Magic brown. Hell yeah. It's a killer, right? Look at the colors in this yeah. one. This is gorgeous. And what do you think? It's a panache. Oh, it's a panache. Yeah. Oh. Very light spotting. Look at nice that. Nice silver. Nice oh, silver yeah, look at, look at how chrome that fish is. It's gorgeous. <laughs> look at that. I love it. Look yeah. at that. I love the colors, oh, yeah. eh? Just gorgeous yeah. fish. Oh. <laughs> they are full yeah, of light. Oh, you too. got it. I got the slip set going now. <laughs> you do? Yeah, it's bizarre. It's just, uh, I must have the right depth too. We're in 18 feet of water and I must be just. You check your depth. Yeah, I think I'm about 18. I think I'm just tickling the bottom, but I'll check it. And I, you know, here's a little tip too for everybody. Easy way to check it is I've got my uh, clippable forceps. I'm gonna put them on the end of my fly and just drop it straight, straight down. So if you ever were wondering about the depth, clip it directly on your fly and lower it straight down. It's a real good way to see how deep you are. Right, <laughs> well, he's going on the booby. He's got two now. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to change over. It's still not shallow water though. No, yeah, it's 14 right. feet. We, yeah, we had a little bit of action earlier, but they didn't stay on there long, right? They still only stayed in that shallow for a little bit, but they're. They're moving out here, so we yeah. gotta try it. I gotta try it. I'm yeah. changing over. The deal's got a nice one on right now. Three feet of water in here. <laughs> yeah, well, we just decided to venture in here and have a look. Dale hooked one right away, and now you got one. And yeah. you can see him, eh? Yeah. Like we're in, yeah, maybe three feet of water. That's crazy. That'll oh. be sweet if they finish off in here. Yeah. Can actually get a couple more on the booby. Yep. But we had to wait all day. We Shh. we were out in the deep water. Yeah. You know, started 10 to 12 feet, went out to 20 feet, went and had about a half an hour of some action for some boobies and. Then it just died off. The fish left again. But now they're, you know, we saw that last night too, didn't we? Oh yeah, they're jumping you know, like crazy. We're just... we're in for dinner, and there's fish rising all over in the shallow water. So I think we might hang out here. Yeah, but that's fall fishing, short bites, right? Yeah. This is a nice one, Brian. I'll bring them on. Now. Nice fish. Well, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Hooked on the outside. Right on the outside. Yeah. There, we got him. Oh, oh yeah. Get him on the side. 
That's a nice fish, Brian. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a beauty. Look at Oh, look at yeah, that. look at that. Look at the booby right in the corner of the mouth. Of course, tequila is yeah. what they're they're on. You know, we tried everything, too. We tried uh, tried purple haze. We tried our blue special. Nothing but tequila. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is gorgeous fish. Oh. Especially when you get them in the shallow water. Three oh, yeah. feet, sight fishing. Oh, oh there he went. Oh. Gone. <laughs> yeah, Excellent. dry. Very nice. <laughs> you know, we got, hopefully we have the evening here. Yeah. You know, because yeah. we just, uh, we saw a few fish in here, so yep. we might as well hang out here and finish it up. It's our last night. Yeah, nothing better than skinny water. I know. <laughs> Especially with tequila. tequila. <laughs> and we tried everything. Like I said earlier, we had our purple haze, yeah. our special blue one, the blue moon. We tried them all, all these new boobies. They love tequila. They, that that col color combination is just I everywhere. Know. I know, and I don't get it, but uh, <laughs> hey, we bought them. They work, so let's we're go keep casting. Them. We're going to use them. Excellent. Nice. Well, Brian, I think we got to wait for those fish to come in. Eh? It's just <laughs> sun's going down. Yeah. We had a few, but uh, well, yeah. we got a bit of time. We should talk about the society. Like they've got a new funding model. You were telling me about earlier. Yeah, actually, in April of 2015, uh, the government moved all 100% of the revenue from freshwater fishing licenses over to the Freshwater Fish Society of BC. So that allows the society to work even more closely with regional fisheries biologists to now start working on projects that involve stock lakes, stock fisheries, as well as wild fisheries in small lakes, large lakes, and rivers. So looking at the province of British Columbia, what is the revenue stream? Like, is it pretty high? Yeah, it's, uh, well, total, uh, each year there's about $10 million in license sales. And that doesn't include the surcharge that goes to the Habitat Conservation Trust Foundation. That's still there, so there's that huge pot of money as well that the foundation invests in fisheries enhancement projects as well. well. Perfect. So it's all dedicated funding now. When an angler buys a license in BC for freshwater, you know it's not going to generate revenue. It's all going back to the resource. And that's what people like. They and want to know that it's going to habitat and conservation. That's exactly. It's beautiful. Well, sun's going down. That's a day. <laughs> that's so a tough day. We had a lot of plans though. You know, we had good intention to show everybody how to fish boobies all day long, but that isn't the way it turned out. And the bulldog, what? Oh, we got a few of us like lot yesterday. It was yeah. so good that we just expected it. I know. It to be shared it, right? Yeah, yeah. and Brian was, you were saying that, Brian, that oh. they come on in like spurts. Yeah, short burst, but always glad you got the bobber with you. The, bo <laughs> the bobber. And we did do well on the indicator. You know, it was uh, really nice to stay up here. If you ever come up here, Make sure you stay at Loon Bay Resort. You're right here. They got a real good boat dock, great accommodations. We've had a, we've had a blast up here for a few days. And of course, bring a couple of friends along with you. I got to bring these guys all the time with me, but it's okay. Oh, they know how to catch fish. Punishing us. <laughs> when you come out here, take care, conserve our waters, and we'll see you next time when we take you sport fishing on the fly. I was being nice to you. Yeah, right. <laughs> To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.